Welcome back to Porsche Top 5. Get your cameras out because today we are joined by a little star, the infamous Porsche 550 Spider. It was the very first Porsche model purposely built for racing, and that's our start into this Top 5. The 550 Spider was nicknamed the Giant Killer, and there's a simple reason for that a powerful 1.5 liter engine and weighing only 550 kilograms, it was super light. The power to weight ratio was the main reason for the 550 Spider's glorious victories at the world's most famous races. This led to a lot of wins against bigger and more powerful race cars. Alongside many impressive victories, the 550 Spider scored a class victory and a third overall place at the Carrera Panamericana in 1954. Two years later, Umberto Malioli went on to score a magnificent overall win at the Targa Florio. At the same time, famous drivers like James Dean made the 550 Spider quite popular, but we'll come to that later. Next in line is our top four, the chassis construction. The chassis construction number of this car was 550, and that's what determined the model's famous name back then. The chassis itself was optimized for racing, and you can see that. Okay, actually you can't. The construction of the Porsche 550 Spyder had one goal, to reduce the weight to a minimum. To achieve a featherweight chassis, the engineers even used the dashboard as the load-bearing element of the body. But with the grid tube frame technology that was employed later on, many load-bearing body parts could be dispensed with too. So we talked about the weight, now we need the power for a perfect power to weight ratio. Our top three, the engine. Let's start this topic by honoring an Austrian engineer. No, not Mr. Porsche himself, but Dr. Ernst Formann, the man that developed the so-called Formann engine, a four-cylinder boxer engine with two overhead camshafts per cylinder bank, driven by bevel gears and a built-up hearth-type crankshaft. <sighs> a real beauty of a machine. Too techy? Sorry, sometimes we get carried away a bit. So let's talk numbers. The 550 Spider was powered by 110 horsepower and boasted a top speed of nearly 220 kilometers per hour. Impressive number for this little giant killer. Another remarkable number is the 550 Spider's value, our top two. Porsche originally built just around 90 units of the 550 Spider. Nowadays, there are more than twice as many copies out there. But if you're lucky enough to drive an original, you can check that off your bucket list. Since the real purpose of this car was racing, a lot of the original 550 Spider models had encounters with competitors or even track limits. So it's actually quite common to have restored models on the market. But whenever there's a 550 Spider changing hands, the prices know no limits. It really isn't rare to see price tags of several million dollars. As we know, the racing heritage is not the only driver of these prizes. It's the rebellious image that goes hand in hand with the 550 Spider. Our top one, the fame factor. Porsche was pretty unknown to the US market back in the 50s. The American customers demanded giant cars with even bigger engines, preferably V8s. Compared to that, the 550 Spider was quite grotesque, but it was the rebellious image that catered to a certain fame factor of the Porsche 550 Spider, And that also convinced a young actor in Hollywood to buy one of the first units in the USA. A young Hollywood star who was also a motorsport fanatic. You know who we're talking about, James Dean. His 550 Spider also got the nickname Little Bastard and had the iconic racing number 130 on its side. Sadly, as we all know, the young James Dean was involved in a horrific crash and did not survive it. This tragedy will always be connected to the Porsche 550 Spider, but we know for sure that his legacy will live on in the form of this beautiful sports car. From one legendary race car to another, next time we follow the path of Captain Ahab and take a look at Moby Dick. See you then, guys.